Hey guys, Musical here, and today I'm giving a tutorial on a plugin called JPanel. What this plugin does it gi is it gives you an online accessible web console. Basically, this is for people who host their servers at home or their online server host, whatever, their terminal system, their online web system is kind of laggy, which is my, in my case, that's, that's the cause for why I found this plugin and why I use this plugin myself. And let's just get right into this. You have to make sure, uh, one more thing you have to know, you have to have access to the ports. Like, you have to have access to port forwarding in order to use this. So if you hosted this at home, you already know how to port forward, then you can just port forward the port that you need for this as well. If you're doing this on a server hosting company, it's a little more confusing, but unless they have de by default all ports open, you're going to have to ask them, you're going to have to test this first, and then if it doesn't work, you're going to have to ask them to open the required ports that you want, and you can configure the ports in the config. I'll show you that later in the video. So basically what this does is it gives you a live view of the console, gives you a live view of the RAM usage, CPU usage, and ticks per second, lets you uh, modify user permissions on the fly, lets you modify player groups. This one requires vault though, so it's not by default like what you can do. This isn't implemented yet, but they're planning on implementing a system to easily kick or ban online players. You can manage online uh, server files without having to actually open your FTP client, which I actually really enjoy. And with the latest version that they uh, have, it, they actually added a new uh, text editing thing. I think it's Monaco Editor. I think, um, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. And pass it as a hash, so if someone gains access to your files of your server, but not your console, they won't get your console through this plugin, at least through this, not through this plugin, because these passwords will be hashed. And the passwords that I'm talking about is, when you go to the website for this um, actual plugin, for the web console, it actually requires that you have a the username and the password of one of the accounts that, uh, that you can add that gives access to different permissions. You can actually configure that in the console as well. This plugin requires Java 8, and yeah, it's pretty simple to uh, install, and I'll show you the rest. So you can either hit here to download, and it'll take you to this, or what I like to do is add flat files to the end of it so I can see all the list of the versions and see the dates and game version. Just, I just like it. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to download this. And yes, I was correct. It was Monaco. The, this is the latest version. This is the one that they added. Monaco, it's uh, it's by Microsoft in the Visual, and it's used in the Visual Studio Code Editor for the editor view. And it's just like a little nicer and a little fancier and a little more flexible. I like using it personally. All right, guys. So I just finished downloading. Now I'm going to show in folder. I'll put it here. So you're gonna need a little server. I have a test server set up. Just take it, drag it to your plugins folder, and then start your server. And I'm running this on 1.11. I'm not. Sh it should work. I'm not sh completely sure, but it should work. I'm on a little older build, as you can see. It says error. This build is outdated. Yeah. Um. I was just. I got this on the mirror because I was too lazy to build it. I just needed it for something earlier today. So, yeah, there you go. And it should work on 1.11. And in case you were wondering which mirror I got it from, I got it from Yives Mirror, I believe it's called. And I think the website is tcpr.me or something, something like that. I don't remember the exact link. And it's done. It should start now. Okay, slash add login. Okay, yes. So I'm going to add a login. Let's do tutorial and password obviously those aren't that's not a very those aren't very good credentials and by default the port is uh the ip of your server colon four five six seven oops that's not a four that's a two go host colon four five six seven and yes i was correct i'm gonna use what was it tutorial and uh pass Okay, it's gonna take a second to load because I'm running this off my computer and eh, 
it's not perfect. Also, this plugin is still in beta, as it says on the actual uh, thing, on the actual post of the plugin. So sometimes this this happens. It's kind of annoying. I'm not sometimes it fixes itself by just relogging. Tutorial. It just doesn't load, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, you can see it's made by who, and you can see the server version here too. MC 1.11. I'll get back to you when this gets being stops being so. Okay, guys. So it seems that the latest version of JPanel doesn't really want to work with my computer. It worked perfectly on my host, and it, the thing is, <coughs> if I navigate to the server files, so, um, refresh this. There, there. Right now, I'm on an old version of JPanel, but when I was on the new version of JPanel, if you saw earlier in the video, there was a folder called JPanel. I think it was underscore public. <coughs> And that folder is supposed to have a bunch of files for the, uh, the CSS, the themes, um, and a bunch of other stuff. But that just didn't want to generate. I, I don't know why. I, I tried a bunch of... I tried all the versions from JPanel Beta 7 all the way through 4.2. 4.23 and... Uh, beta 5, they don't actually use the folder, only JPanel Beta 6 and 7 use the folder. So, JPanel Beta 5 still didn't work, I'm pretty sure, but 4.3 and 4.2 did work. I believe I am on 4.2, if I'm not mistaken. I'm also on MC 1.8.8, but as you can see, it works with the older versions. This is a bug, as they said in the main thing. I'm using Java 8. I even tried Java uh, 8 32 bit, but I had, because I had Java 8. 64 bit. I want to make sure that it wasn't that as the issue, but it still didn't work. So I'm gonna be notifying uh, Rime about this, which is the guy who made this, and hopefully he fixes this. Okay, now let's just keep looking through this. So as you can see, you can uh, use console commands. Here we saw. Let's do um, test. <coughs> see it's pretty instantaneous as well so if I do it on this <coughs> yeah it's pretty much instant just a uh, slight slight delay but that won't bother anyone <coughs> okay so now if I go to players obviously there's no one on but these are the people who have joined on this server so if I go here it says online false selected world world I believe selected world means the world that they are currently in Noob, uh, these are the ranks that they're in. Right now, this server uses Group Manager, so which I don't use anymore, but it's just installed in the server. So you can see it's going through those, uh, it's going through Group Manager's groups, which are set. That's why I needed Vault for this, because Vault is the linking, it's like a, it's like an API used by a lot of plugins that want to work with groups, permissions, and other stats. So this has to go through um, uh, Vault. So you can see Noob. I'm pretty sure Owner was a group. I'm going to add myself to Owner. Group added. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, I think I, I think I know what's going on. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that what happened was Group Manager, it has well so does Pex. They have inheritance groups and levels. I believe that's what happened here. I think I don't think that in the actual permissions file it has all of these, but rather it just shows all of these as these are inheritances. But don't quote me on that because I haven't checked that. And then online players you would be able to right click. You know I'm gonna show that right now. While Minecraft loads I'll show you some other features. So this is a simple theme, night and day mode pretty much and I like day mode just because it's more vibrant also this uses spark for any other developers out there I'll, sh I'll show you the little player section in a second as minecraft is starting and these are the files that this is the file editor that I was showing this is an older version so Monaco isn't actually in this but I'll still show you it just imagine that Monaco is in there so you could go through this 
let's say I want to edit JVN. Let's say I'm, I'm trying to gain access to this server and I'm trying to get the password. See how it's hashed? You know how I told you earlier that it's hashed? Yeah, it's hashed right here. I don't think you can understand that. That's your weird. Okay. And you can save file and you can edit. Like, I can change this to false. But no need to. And this is also the config for JPanel. Obviously, this is an older version, but so that's why the J is lowercase, and that's why the config is slightly different, I believe. And these are the permissions that you can set. So you would add the login using slash add login, and then username, password, and then you would come here and uh, stop the server, go to the config file. And then change these. You can edit files. I said true for all of them. Can edit files. Can change groups. I believe that's the normal groups, not like J panel groups. So I, I think it's like the group that I showed in the players list. And can send commands. That's in the console. So like me. Yeah. <coughs> you, that's not the only command. You can do any command. You can do hex. That wait no. Yeah. Man load. And load. There you go. Right, there's command. PL, you can see all the command uh, plugins. Okay, Minecraft is started. I'm going to join the server. Alright, so I have joined the server. And now I am going to go to JPanel, players, online players. So I click my name. You can see my health, my current world, current game mode, if I'm online or not. Well, obviously it's going to feel true because I'm on the server right now. Permissions. These are calculated from the bucket super firms, APIs, and may not reflect the permission nodes are present in the config files. <coughs> I believe these are all the permissions. Like, I have apostrophe star apostrophe because I'm an owner. And that means that I have every single permission. So this is actually kind of helpful in case you want to find out exact permissions. Like, for example, let's go here. Not sure about that but yeah I'm pretty sure those are the actually I'm pretty sure those are the permissions that are listed in the if you're developing a plugin you gotta list your permissions well you don't have to but you can you can list your permissions inside the plugin info file and I think those are the permissions that are listed so if you didn't list it there it's not it's probably not gonna show up there that's, that's my say on it I think that's true and groups yeah and then I believe no you can't kick them yet yeah that was the they already said that in the thing. They're adding a feature where you would be able to right click them or something, and then you could kick them, ban them, mute them, whatever. And yeah, that's cool. Also, a little thing here. If I type in stop, it says, are you sure you want to stop the server? So just to make sure. And over here, it shows the TPS, the current RAM usage, CPU usage. I don't, I, I don't even know. That's, it's just not. I can disconnect. And yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. So yeah, I think I showed everything. Should be. Uh, if you want to check out the GitHub page, it's github.com slash rymate slash jpanel. And it just gives some more information. Once again, the features give some uh, installation feature uh, things. I'm going to report this issue in issues. If you guys have any issues with this plugin because it's in beta, and it has bugs i recommend you add issues here so i'm gonna add this issue and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye